Hello everyone, I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Adeline. So in this video, we are going to be talking about festive dressing, which for some reason I find gets harder as I get older. <laughs> and I think there's a couple reasons for this. I mean, I think firstly, we're all trying to be better consumers and not necessarily buying a whole new outfit for every event that we have. And secondly, festive dressing is often associated with a lot of glitz and glitter and sequins, which is not a complete no-go for me. I like to be a bit more understated and minimal with a sprinkle of sparkle, so you'll see that throughout this video. And as I get older, I'm trying to buy better and sort of curate a wardrobe full of interchangeable pieces that I can dress up and dress down. And so in this video, you will see a mix of old and new pieces. And I'm gonna kind of talk through why I think these old pieces have worked so well for me and why I bring them out again and again. And you'll kind of see how I'm gonna style them up this year for this December all of the events that we have going on, I feel like there's quite a bit going on this December. <laughs> but I hope that this will give you some inspiration for maybe some existing pieces that you have in your wardrobe. I will, of course, link everything that I can in the description box and find similar items for you to look at as well. This first outfit features a top that I got so much wear out of during the summer. It is a knitted strapless top from Reformation. I actually wore it on my 30th birthday <laughs> with a different pair of trousers. But that's what's so great about this top is that it goes with so many of my trousers and jeans. Here I've worn it with my leather trousers, which I styled in my last video. And I love that kind of mix of textures of the leather and the knitted material. I think that works really well. And I really love this sort of very simple, minimal outfit that can really be changed in the way that you accessorize it. Accessories are a really great way to dress up an outfit, especially if you are a serial casual dresser such as myself. The bag that I am styling in this video is from the brand Oleada. And if you've seen any of my recent videos, you may have seen another bag from them that I use all the time as it's such a great everyday bag. So I will link that video as well if you wanna see it. Oleada is a brand by women for women and you really get a sense of that from their smart designs. You can tell that their bags come from women who know our lives and who can anticipate what we actually need from a handbag. This bag is called the Echo Bag and it is in this absolutely gorgeous LeMay leather. I wish you could feel the quality through the screen because I know that this is a bag that is gonna last me a lifetime. This silver color is a limited edition from the May Musk collaboration. It also comes in other neutral tones as well as part of their core collection, which is great if you're looking for a small everyday bag. I chose the bag in silver as to me it stands out while still being understated. And I also think that silver is a really classic trend that will be quite easy to style, not just for winter, but for the coming spring and summer months as well. The bag also features this very sweet cloud charm that has May's initials on it. And it's supposed to represent the sky is unlimited, which is a message from May to the bag wearers. And I think it's such a great positive message and that kind of positive feeling when you receive a bag like this. So a really key component of Oleada's bags is that they're supposed to be multifunctional. And you'll see that in their core collection of elegant work bags where they are designed so that you can wear them in lots of different ways. And they're designed to be comfortable as well when you have like a heavy laptop in them. You can wear it as I have the strap now and have it as a shoulder bag. You can elongate the strap to wear it crossbody. You can loop the strap through the back pocket to wear it as a belt bag, or you can take the strap off completely to use it as a clutch. It also fits all of your essentials for an evening out. So I've got my phone here. This is an iPhone 12 Pro Max. Then I have a lipstick. I have a card holder here. And lastly, my house keys. <laughs> 
and everything fits really nice and compact in there. I am so happy to be partnering up with Oleada again. They are such a modern and forward-thinking brand. And of course, we have a discount code for you. You can use the code ADELINE10 for 10% off site-wide, and you'll also get a free Twilly worth $65. So you can accessorize your Oleada bags or any other bags you have with this Twilly as well. Take a look at their website. Like I said, they have a range of timeless designs for work or for traveling or for every day. So you will definitely be able to find something that suits you. This next outfit is a full-on silky number. I love wearing silk in the evenings. I think it's such a luxurious material. This top has been in my wardrobe for two or three years now, and it is the perfect top for me to wear when I want to kind of dress up a little bit for evenings out, but not too much. I wear this top with jeans and a blazer and boots, and to me, that is like the perfect sort of smart casual look but because this is obviously festive season and you know we want to dress up a little bit more i have paired it with these silk trousers from reformation another wardrobe staple these are the willa trousers in silk um, i had to get them <laughs> tailored quite a lot because they are very very long i think reformation's trousers are just made for tall people <laughs> not five foot two people <laughs> But I really love the design of these silk trousers. They have proper pockets and they also have belt loops so you can wear a belt with it as well. And you can definitely style these trousers in so many different ways. I think these would also look great with like a big knit for that kind of cozy, luxurious look as well. And of course I have accessorized with the Oleana bag. Here I've worn it as a belt bag. I think that sort of breaks up the outfit a little bit and gives it a bit more sort of depth and dimension and I just love that you can have your handbag and have your hands free. I think that's great. So like I said, knitwear and silk work so well together. For this next look, I have gone with more of a daytime look, I think. And so I've gone for sort of lighter colors. Again, these two pieces are wardrobe staples for me. I live in these sort of big, chunky, wool and cashmere mixed jumpers during the winter time. I think that they are so cozy. I love that sort of oversized fit. It's just so comfortable and nice to wear during winter. I also really like the details on this jumper. So the ribbing on like the cuff and the base of the jumper. And I also really like the slits that are on the cuff as well. I think those sort of small attention to detail can really elevate um, a basic jumper. So I paired it with this skirt that has made it onto my channel many, many times. I have this skirt in black as well. This is from Silk Laundry. It is their iconic bias cut slip skirt. It's honestly the best kind of slip midi skirt that I've tried and I've tried quite a few because I was really looking for like that perfect cut and this is honestly the perfect cut. It just hugs you in all the right places and it just drapes in all the right places as well. I think this is the perfect minimal look to play around a bit more with jewelry. So here I have worn some pieces from PD Paola. I especially love this kind of blue earring that I have. I think it just, it's nice to add that little bit of color, you know, I don't like too much color, but I'll do it in small quantities. And here I've done it in my earrings. I think it works really well to kind of accentuate that high neck of the jumper. As I've styled this to be more of a daytime look, I have worn the bare crossbody for a more sort of relaxed feeling. And I've added on my camel wrap coat here to stay warm and look very chic. And whilst I have you here, if you like this kind of content, please consider liking and subscribing if you aren't subscribed already. I would really, really appreciate it as it really helps out my channel and me and it lets me know what content you like to see as well. This next outfit is nearly a full Cezanne look. I find that a lot of Cezanne pieces um, work really well to be dressed up or dressed down which is probably why I have quite a few Cezanne pieces in my wardrobe. This skirt you would have seen recently in my Cezanne video. It is 100% wool 
And I love that you can remove the belt and actually replace it with any other sort of like thick waist belts that you have. Here I've styled it with a Cezanne silk shirt, which I've had for maybe coming up to two years now. It is one of my work staples actually, but I think that when you pair it with a mini skirt like this, it can also work for an evening look too. If you happen to catch my autumn winter wishlist video, you'll know that I am really loving these sort of collarless jackets at the moment. So this one that I'm wearing right now. And I think it works really well with this evening outfit. I just love that kind of preppy look that it gives. And I also think it works so great casually with jeans like I've got on now. It's just a great versatile piece. I have accessorized the look with these gold pieces from PD Paola. I think that it adds a bit more sort of festiveness to the outfit. And I have shortened this strap on the Oleada bag to wear as a shoulder bag. And I think the silver kind of works really nicely against the wool houndstooth jacket. Summer tailoring was such a big trend a couple of months ago and you guys all know, I was wearing my waistcoat all the time. And I'm so happy that I can bring it back out this season for a sort of festive twist on a men's suit for a night out. I just absolutely love waistcoats for any time of year. I think it's such a classic look. And I will link to a couple of waistcoats in the description box. I just love how versatile they can be. So I wore my waistcoat really casually over the summer months. And now I can bring it out for winter time and sort of dress it up a bit more. I've paired it with these cropped black trousers. And if you ever see me wear a pair of cropped black trousers on my channel, it's probably this pair. They have been in my wardrobe for, I wanna say like six or seven years now. They were such a good purchase. I got them from the Outnet. And a pair of cropped black trousers will just be such a staple item for your wardrobe that you will never regret that kind of purchase. I have kept everything super minimal for this look. I've just added these really big statement earrings and this type of earring comes back around every festive season. I will link some in the description box. It's just such a great kind of addition to the outfit, I think. I think that this is a really great understated look and I love that it's made up of all old items that I've already got in my wardrobe. Bringing back these silk trousers one more time to style them up again, just because I think they're such a great evening trouser. This is definitely more of a bolder look. I think that this is one for like a girl's night out because I've gone for this sort of triangle bra and mesh top. I think that if you are going for a look like this, which is slightly more revealing on top, then I would pair it with loose flowing trousers because I think that that sort of balances out the look. I really like this look. I think that even though the top is quite sexy because of the long sleeves, I still feel like quite covered up, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I don't feel like I'm too out there. <laughs> I think that this look definitely speaks for itself. If you wanna keep it minimal like this, then you definitely can. I have gone and added this gold set from PD Palette again because it's festive season, why not? So I wanted to end this video on probably the glitziest outfit ever, <laughs> for me anyway. I recently purchased this dress from Sabina Musayev. I think that's how you say it. I have a winter wedding to go to the day after this video goes live actually. And this is what I'll be wearing. It is an absolutely stunning gold and black dress. It is definitely a very sort of special occasion dress, but it's my brother's wedding and the dress code is black tie. So I just thought if there's any occasion where I'm going to allow myself to buy something new, this is definitely it. <laughs> I am so excited to wear this dress. The dress actually opens all the way down to where the belt is. It does have a little clasp 
so you can close it to be a bit more covered up. Definitely gonna use that clasp. This is a family wedding after all. <laughs> In terms of accessories, I have just gone very simple with this dress. I think I'm just going to wear my solo diamond necklace from Ideal. I think that is all I need because the dress is going to do all the talking. So those are some of the outfits I will be wearing this December. I hope that you liked the kind of mix of old and new pieces and seeing how you can dress up your existing wardrobe. Remember to use the code ADELINE10 on Oleada's website to get 10% off plus a free Twilly worth $65. And just a reminder that I will be doing Vlogmas this December. I'm not gonna be filming every day, but maybe I'm aiming for three or floor, floor? <laughs> I'm aiming for three or four vlogs this December. You'll probably see a lot of these outfits in action. Uh, and yeah, let me know what you wanna see this December. I'm gonna be doing lots of Christmassy things. But if there's anything in particular, please let me know. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.